We're going to start with our newsmakers segment and look at one of the city council races to be decided on June the 18th. Our guest is a candidate in the 4th District, which includes downtown Midtown and the Country Club Plaza. The election will be decided by district voters, not citywide. And joining us now to talk about his campaign is Jeff Jolly. Mr. Jolly, welcome to Ruckus. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So uh, you have an interesting background. You're a firefighter and an attorney. Yes. Talk a bit about yourself and uh, how you happen to get into this race. Sure. I was uh, born and raised here in Kansas City and uh, had gone off to college in Atlanta and returned to Mizzou for law school. But uh, while I was at Mizzou, 9-11 happened. So that changed the trajectory of my life. I ended up uh, watching men and women go off to New York to help uh, with the recovery efforts. And so I went in and asked, joined uh, a fire department in Columbia and, and joined a FEMA search and rescue team that I'm still a member of today. And so when I came back to Kansas City, I started working for Congressman Cleaver uh, for 14 years and in the process joined the Kansas City Fire Department. So you're a firefighter yep. and do you also have a legal practice? I, well, so I don't practice law. I'm really good at referring people to uh, to more qualified attorneys. Okay, I, I suspect there are several issues that interested you yes. to cause you to yep. get into the race. Uh, in the interest of time, tell us your two top issues of concern. Well, I think we need to make sure that we have a city hall that's responsive to its citizens, that gets back to addressing kind of some of the basic city services that we've been promised as taxpayers. And, you know, creating a safe neighborhood, public safety is certainly important to me. Um, but then addressing our infrastructure needs. We've seen, you know, uh, failing infrastructure around our community for too long, and it's something I look forward to tackling. Are you backing either of the two candidates for mayor, endorsing either one? No, they're both good friends of mine, and so I look forward to working with either one of them. One is from the 4th District. She is. You hope to represent. Yes. The other has been endorsed by the Firefighters Union. Indeed. So you have uh, probably mixed loyalties there. Well, like I said, I'll, I'll be able to work with either one of them. And, and frankly, I think the city's in, in good shape that we have uh, two quality candidates. What about the crime issue? A lot of violence, a lot of homicides. Some people think one of the answers would be to have a locally appointed police board yeah. instead of one appointed by the governor. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, crime's, crime's a, a major issue in our city. It's something as a firefighter we see every weekend, shootings, stabbings, assaults. Um, those are things that I respond to as a firefighter, so they're, they're not just numbers on a sheet of paper to me, they're memories and experiences. I think having local control would be helpful. Um, I know a number of officers in our community, and they're good and decent people, and, and the police commissioners have done uh, wonderful work. But ultimately, I think it would increase the accountability and some cost savings and efficiency by having local control. Some people say that there are too many taxes in Kansas City, <laughs> property tax, sales tax, earnings tax. Mm -hmm. In the Country Club Plaza, for example, community improvement districts with higher sales taxes, the transportation development district with higher sales taxes. Do you think Kansas Cityans are taxed enough? I, th I think we're reaching that ceiling. I mean, I think if you listen to businesses and when you go out, I'm, I've been out knocking on doors and talking to voters at community forums, they're telling you, hey, we, we're, we want us to, to hit the pause button for a minute. We're we're feeling like we're taxed too much. So we're, we're right there. Whether we, we've crossed the threshold or not, I don't know. Well, we hear a lot of complaints from people concerning big ticket items mm -hmm. and the city giving tax increment financing deals to big businesses. Some of those big ticket items are in the district you hope to represent. Indeed. So are you opposed to those? Well, I'm not opposed to, to big ticket items. I think I think the issue is how do what's the return on our investment as a taxpayer? And so, you know, if we can see that the city can put in a certain amount of money, whether it's through a tax increment financing to create economic development, um, you know, I'm I'm in favor of that. But ultimately, we need to take a more strategic approach, look at things um, in the grand scheme of how they impact the entire budget, and all we have a lot of demand, a lot of need in the city, and only so many resources. Are we going to see the streetcar reach the Country Club Plaza in the near future? I anticipate that that will happen. I mean, it's ultimately going to rely on some federal funding, significant federal funding. Um, but you know, Kansas Cityans overwhelmingly seem you know want seem to want it, and you know, I think that there's a, a strong argument. Well, when for you it. can ride it free, it's pretty popular. Indeed, indeed. All right. Thanks very much for Thanks coming for in. Good me. luck on your campaign. Appreciate it, Mike. Uh -huh. That is 4th District City Council candidate Jeff Jolly. We'll meet his opponent on our next program. Now let's meet the panel and start a ruckus.